It's nutty. It's toasty. It's also easy. Honestly, this is a dish you can eat anytime. So today we're gonna be making crispy rice cakes and halloumi in a brown butter gochujang sauce. That entails us searing and crisping up the rice cakes as well as the halloumi. There is a brown butter gochujang gochugaru sauce that gets poured over everything along with a runny egg and some arugula. So these are the rice cakes. Uh, these are the cylinder shaped Korean rice cakes we're gonna be using. Uh, the Korean word for rice cakes is duck. And this dish is kind of a play on tteokbokki, which is that fiery red sauce that we see. I grew up where after school, I wouldn't get that exact dish, but my mom would just kind of sear it on a pan like we're gonna do with a little oil, crisp it up, and then she would just sprinkle a little salt, sugar, and soy sauce on it. And that in itself is a really delicious snack. So the first thing we're actually gonna be doing is soaking these rice cakes into some water. The rice cakes that you're gonna purchase are going to be in something similar fashion like this. Uh, cryovac in the refrigerator, oftentimes in the freezer, they are all dehydrated to a certain degree. So pouring wa water over it is to just rehydrated and to ensure more of a consistent product. So you're gonna wanna do this for about half an hour to an hour. It can be as long as overnight if you like, but basically this part is to ensure uh, rehydration. I wanna go ahead and just continue my, my mise en place, if you will, and slice some halloumi cheese. I'm kind of cutting it in a way that's similar to the shape of the rice cakes. It's gonna add another depth to this dish that I really love. Um, it's also kind of a play in the way that, like, you know, I often see cheese and some uh, mozzarella in Korean cooking. Um, this is kind of incorporating that element of cheese into it, um, but sort of using a different type of cheese. Okay, so we are just gonna do a bernoisette, like a brown butter sauce before we add anything to it. You're gonna start smelling the butter. It's gonna start smelling toasty and nutty the milk solids are gonna start to drop to the bottom of the pan. And that's that stuff you really want and uh, essentially make it brown butter. You're gonna start to see some foaming. That's gonna be your first clue that things are going in the right direction. Also, the color of the butter is darkening a little bit. You'll know that it's starting to drop to the bottom of the pan, meaning the milk solids, when the foaming subsides. You could already see it, the foaming is decreasing. So the golden hue is gonna come from the color of the milk solids. And you can see it. If I pour it out, you'll see it. And the solids themselves are changing. So, I mean, I worked in a Danish restaurant where they would take it all the way to black. Um, we're kind of looking for more like a golden hue. And this is essentially the base of your chili sauce. So we're gonna start to add ingredients to this to make the gochujang sauce. The sauce is warm. We wanna kind of keep it warm. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is add one clove of garlic and we're going to microplane that in. And then we are doing like, I don't know, like half a teaspoon of salt. So that's about it. Uh, we're going to do some gochujang. This is a gochujang and gochugaru from my friends out in San Francisco called Queens. Um, it's adding heat. It's adding, it's, it's also enhancing the nutty toastiness. Um, I'm also gonna use a tablespoon of the chili flakes, the gochugaru. And what, what's happening is now we're, we're getting a more of a thicker sauce too, right? Then I'm gonna, for the final, I'm gonna use um, some brown rice vinegar. Guess why I'm using this though? Because it's also very toasty, nutty vinegar. Um, it's from, it's fermenting brown rice. So it's getting those flavors. And I think it's just, it really um, enhances everything in here. So now we have the sauce complete and it's ready to go, ready to be drizzled when we have the other components. The water is boiling, which means we are ready to drop these eggs. Uh, we're gonna drop two eggs. We just drop it like this and then just like shimmy out a little bit. So uh, it's been six and a half minutes. I'm gonna fish the eggs out and get it into the water bath, the ice bath. I'm using that same spider and then it's getting that cold plunge 
from boiling water into the ice bath, it's shocking the eggs and it's just stopping the cooking and the temperature and to ensure that um, you're getting the consistency you want. So this is six and a half minute eggs. It will not cook any further than that by going into the ice bath. So now we have our rice cakes. We have our sliced tulumi. These are the last things we need to do to complete the dish. So these have been soaking for about an hour. I'm just gonna drain them in a colander. Okay, I'm gonna put it back into the bowl. I mean, if you want, you can kind of pat them dry. Yeah, the drier they will be, the less splattery they will be when you sear them. Water on oil is gonna make things explode a little bit. So the drier they are, the better. Um, this is a canola oil. Um, Grapeseed oil would be great. Rapeseed oil, um, any neutral cooking oil. So that splattering is because there's some moisture in that in the rice cakes. What I'm seeing right now is the blistering of the rice cakes. The texture, the outside is changing, but there's no color yet. And I want that sort of, I want a deeper blistering. I want a thicker, crispier skin, and I do want some color, but you're seeing some changes. I can also feel that this is getting elastic and chewy. Now we're starting to get some color. They look blistery, they look crispy, and that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and get this heat back on. I think we're there, so I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping the cheese. And again, like, you know the oil's hot, you hear that splatter, you see that reaction. And depending on the halloumi, like, it'll naturally break, like that little piece came off. Don't worry about it. All those little bits are gonna be very good. The great thing about halloumi is because it has like sort of that high melting point, it can take heat. We're getting that golden hue, we're getting more texture, it's getting crispy, um, it's changing sort of the texture inside, but again, it will still be intact. It's also adding the visual cue of we eat with our eyes first. Um, so I'm actually gonna take this off heat. You know, I want the sauce to be warm when we ladle it over everything because also like there's gonna be arugula. We want that hot mixture to heat the raw greens. Um, so it's cooled down a little bit, so I'm reheating it. Um, and it's also thickened and kind of seized up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just add a couple tablespoons of water to it. We have all of the components ready. Uh, we are ready to plate. So I like to put um, like a bed of greens down. Um, this is some arugula. This is baby arugula. Uh, I guess this would be considered mature arugula. So then we are gonna go in with our rice cakes and halloumi. And you can sort of put it wherever you like. Let's drizzle a little sauce right now. We'll use baby arugula for the topping. You definitely don't need two separate types of greens. We have it, so we're just gonna use it as more of a garnish green. Um, and then those eggs coming in. And then the remainder of the sauce over the eggs as well. The final thing we're going to do is break the eggs. So hope these eggs are runny. All right, here we go. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's spicy, it's nutty, just everything really goes together. So it's like spicier than I thought it would be because again, like the gochugaru and the gochujang you use, like the, the spicy levels are gonna vary. But the fat coming from the butter, the yolk, um, it really mellows it out and kind of balances it out too. I also get the brightness from the brown rice vinegar. It's nice to have a bite of like salty, crispy cheese and then some rice cakes. So it's like, it's more like the sum of all parts, you know, that kind of, uh, makes this dish sing. This is a great introduction on how to cook with rice cakes. If you haven't played around with halloumi, this is also another great way to um, play with the texture and the versatility of the cheese. I, I hope you'll make it because it's very, very easy to do. I don't know what else can say I can say besides nutty, toasty, <laughs> spicy, yeah.